So a decision has come down. Illegal immigrant and seven-time felon Jose Garate, who shot and killed Kate Steinle on a San Francisco pier walking with her dad, was given credit for three years already served on the weapons felony. But he is about to be turned over to the federal authorities now, as it appears this case is not completely over. Any moment now, the federal government will take him into custody away from the sanctuary state of California, where he will face two new felony charges, giving the Steinle family one more chance at justice in her killing. In moments, I have an exclusive interview with the man who defended Zarate, public defender Matt Gonzalez. But first, Trace Gallagher joins us from our West Coast newsroom with what is going on there behind the scenes in California with this case at this late hour. Good evening, Trace. Good evening, Martha. Either tonight or this weekend, Jose Garcia Zarate will be taken into custody by federal authorities in San Francisco and taken across the bay to Oakland, where he'll be arraigned early next week in federal court for being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. And in case you're wondering, despite San Francisco being a sanctuary city and California now being a sanctuary state, local and state authorities can no longer shield Garcia Zarate. He has to be turned over to the U.S. Marshals because he's facing a federal indictment. Remember, the reason he was able to fire the gun that killed Kate Steinle is because when San Francisco law enforcement had him in custody, instead of turning him over to immigration agents to be deported for a sixth time, they decided to set him free. Steinle's death then became a key piece of Donald Trump's immigration enforcement narrative on the campaign trail. Now in federal court, Garcia Zarate's prominent defense attorney will try to turn the tables. J. Tony Serra says he plans to argue Argue that the case against Garcia Zarate should be dismissed because it's vindictive, adding that a guilty vote for Garcia Zarate is a vote for Donald Trump. Listen. Shame on the federal government. Shame on the Trump administration. Shame on them in terms of bringing a retaliatory, vindictive prosecution. He's being made a martyr to the, from my perspective, the racistic perspective of Trump. Garcia Zarate's defense attorneys maintained the shooting of Kate Steinle was an accident, saying he found the gun on the pier and that it accidentally discharged. Although Garcia Zarate initially claimed that he was shooting at sea lions in the San Francisco Bay. If Garcia Zarate is convicted in federal court, he's facing up to 10 years in prison. If he's acquitted, he would be deported for a sixth time. Martha. Trace, thank you very much.